gangster and former politician was shot and killed on live television alongside his brother on Saturday. Atik Ahmed and his brother Ashraf were under police escort when three men posing as journalists targeted the two brothers, killing them. The men quickly surrendered to the police after the shooting, with one of them chanting Jah Shri Ram or Hail Lord Ram, which is a religious slogan that has become a battle cry for Hindu nationalists in their campaign against Muslims. Atik had cultivated a somewhat Robin Hood image among mostly Muslim constituents in Uttar Pradesh, which is governed by India's ruling Hindu nationalist party. Atik was charged and convicted of kidnapping and murder tied to his 2019 murder. Atik Ahmad is a former member of parliament from Fulpur constituency in Uttar Pradesh, India. He has been accused of involvement in criminal activities, including murder, extortion and kidnapping. Ahmad has served time in prison for various crimes and has been described as a gangster politician. Despite his criminal record, he has been elected to public office several times. However, one of the most heinous crimes he has been accused of is the murder of BSP MLA Raju Pal in 2005. Pal was shot dead in broad daylight in Allahabad, and Ahmad was named as one of the main suspects in the case. Ahmad has denied involvement in the murder, but the case remains unsolved. Atik Ahmad's life is interesting in many ways, but from a historical and political perspective, one of the most interesting aspects is his rise to power as a Bahubali, or strongman politician in Uttar Pradesh. He started his political career as a member of the Samajwadi Party, and quickly gained notoriety for his muscle power and criminal connections. Despite his criminal background, he was elected to the Lok Sabha, the lower house of the Indian parliament, in 2004. He has also been elected to the Uttar Pradesh Legislative Assembly several times. Ahmad's story is an example of how criminal elements have been able to penetrate the political system in some parts of India, and how they have often been able to use their power and influence to evade justice.